Hello everyone, Mr. Science Mover here. Today is going to be a tutorial on how to mod audio in Power World. I know some people have been requesting this, I haven't seen any tutorials on it yet, so this is going to be my video walkthrough. Uh, so the first thing, we're going to start with F model. Uh, if you don't know how to open F model, watch my first video. So we're going to go into the files here in F model. And we're going to want to go to PAL content, PAL, and sound. And this is going to be where all of our sounds are stored. So we could head straight into the media folder. And this is going to give us basically every single sound in the game. But these numbers are not meaningful to us right now. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to events. And SE, sound events. And here is where all of our sound events are stored. So we can see we have events for map objects. So we can find uh, the bonfire, building, opening a chest, using a frying pan, um, specific pals, and their actions when they do that. Um, here's for the player. Here's for skills. Um, so for a tutorial let's just change the sound of a player punching so we're gonna go ahead and open that and we'll see the sound when player swings and so we open this U asset this is going to tell us what number we actually want so it looks like this action which is swinging is correlated with these three files so we're going to note these down so i'm going to actually copy them and open up a notepad so i can look them up so we have this one this one and the last one i'm going to replace all three of these i'm assuming these are all going to be like a randomization so it picks one of these three but we'll check in a second um, so I can click on it and it should Ooh, I have it set to the wrong output so you can hear what that sounds like you can click on the second one and the third one they're all relatively similar but we're gonna just replace all three of them um, so these are located in that media tab I was talking about earlier. So we're going to go back into media. Uh, and we actually still have the numbers up here, so that's nice. We're going to go to the first one, 241 something, 241693478. So we're going to pick that one. We're going to export raw data. We go to... 6714, wait for that one. Which is this one. Oops. Export that. And 7599. And we'll export that one. Raw data. So now we have our files. Um, we can go into our F model output or output um, into the folder that we just talked about the media folder I have some exported sounds from earlier um, but now we can play the waves of the files that we just exported if we want to so I can play this again for you that's what that sounds like but what we actually want here is the U asset and the UAXP the u bulks are really not that important for right now, but I'm going to copy all of these files into a working folder. Don't do this anymore. So this is going to be my working folder with a Python script that I wrote that we'll be using in just a bit. So I'm going to delete the u bulks because those are the original sounds that I want to replace and I don't really need them right now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Audacity. Now, this is going to let us, even if we have audio that we already know we want to import, 
is going to let us convert it to the proper um, the proper format. So I'm going to go ahead and open some audio. Okay, so I found this beautiful audio that I'm going to put into the game to play whenever we swing. It's going to sound like this. LeBron James. <laughs> so that's what we're going to hear every time we swing. Um, and what we're going to do is... Um, this one's actually in the correct format already, but what we want is stereo, 48,000 hertz, 32-bit float. And the way we can change that is just by going to format, check 32-bit float, rate, check 48,000 hertz. And once we have that in the correct format, we can go ahead and export as WAV and make sure we pick the 32-bit float encoding. And I'm just gonna export that to this folder. And we can go ahead and close Audacity. So we have our wave, and now the question is, how do we get that into the format that the game can read, which was the U-bulk that we deleted earlier? So the way we do that is by using WISE, which is a program that you might have installed if you're already working with the PAL World modding kit, because it's required to launch that. But if you don't have that installed, then you're gonna to have to install WI separately. So what we're gonna want is the version that Power World uses, which is 2021.1.11. We need to install that. We'll go to the bottom here. We check all, we click 2021.1, and we pick 11. Uh, I already have this installed, but it should say install here. Um, important note, you will have to create an account and log in in order to use WISE. So I'm going to go ahead and once that's installed, I'll launch WISE. Uh, if you don't have a project here already, like I do, we'll hit new and we can create a project. We'll call it tutorial audio, make sure platform is windows. We'll pick the location, which will, I'll just put it in the same folder I was working in. And we'll just keep all the other defaults and hit OK. Um, this is fine. You can just close that. Um, so what we want to do first is we'll go to Project Import Audio Files. And we're going to import the audio that we just had, so the wave that we just exported. So you're going to click Add Files. We're going to navigate to that wave, and we're going to import that, click import. And now that that's imported into our project, we're going to click convert all audio files and we're going to convert for Windows. And that's actually all we needed WIS for is to convert the U-Bulk, convert the wave into a U-Bulk. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't even need to save my project. And what that did is it generated a file for us in the cache folder windows sfx and now we have this wem file here now you might be asking what a wem file is it's just a u-bulk it's the exact same so we're actually just going to go ahead and rename this to one of these uh, we're going to have to replace it with all of them so i'm going to start with the first one we'll name it the same exact number dot u-bulk and then we'll copy that two more times and rename the others. So now that we have all of our U-Bulks in place, we're almost done. We have one last step, which is to change the UEXP to refer to the new U-Bulk size. So the UXP actually has a, has a number in it that tells it how big the U-Bulk it's expecting is. So we have to actually change that if our new audio is not the same length as our old audio. And that's what this Python script does. So I'm gonna show you first where this number is, and then I'm gonna run the Python script. So let's open a UXP. We can see it's pretty small. Uh, it has the name of the audio that it's replacing, platform windows, and right here is the size in bytes of the file. So it's actually the original U-Bulk was 5,061 bytes. 
but our new U-Bulk is, if I open properties, it's 27, 270, 270,400 bytes. Thank you. I got there eventually. So we're going to have to actually put that number right here. But that's what this Python script does. So I'm going to drag this U-Bulk onto the Python script. And we can see in our UXP, it just auto-updated that for us. Now the number is correct. So I'm going to do that for the other ones as well. I'll just drag those onto the Python script. And then we should be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a mod folder for this. So we're going to call it tutorial audio underscore p. We're going to recreate the file structure that we got these audio files from. So it's going to be pal content and we're just going to drag our new files if I can find them. Let me open this new window. We're going to drag our new files right in there. And then we're going to pack this folder up with Unreal Pack. And we're all good to go. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in my packs folder. And I'm going to launch Pal World. All right, so now we're in the game. And we'll move through. And uh, yeah, our, our sound effects. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can make something more interesting than this one, but, but that's uh, just what I had on hand. Uh, so, yeah, good luck and happy modding.